Hi, for this video I'm going to be drawing on the bones and the bony landmarks of the chest area or the anterior thorax. So let us start with what we know as the breastbone, is the proper name is the sternum. So we've got that ridge at the top here. So the very top bit of the sternum is called the manubrium. Manubrium there, manubrium. Then we go into the body of the sternum. Okay, we can feel the body down to here. And when you get to the very end, there's a bit of a gristly bit down the end here. And that is called the xiphoid process. It actually starts with an X. So the body of the sternum is here. Okay, looks like a rocket. It might also look like other things, but uh, let's carry on with what we're learning today, shall we? So we've got manubrium, the body and the xiphoid process. Now onto the top of the manubrium we have the collarbone or clavicle so you should be able to feel you can feel it on yourself there's a slight kind of notch area like so so that will be the end of the clavicle and can we see the clavicle there it's actually slightly s-shaped so i'll try and get draw that as it should look although the skin moves so let's Okay, I'm in a little indentation here. This indentation is the end of the clavicle before it joins on to the next bone, which is the acromion process. So now what I have drawn so far then is I've drawn the SC joint, the sternoclavicular joint, and I've drawn the AC joint, the acromioclavicular joint. Okay, and that's the clavicle. This is the sternum and the three parts of the sternum. Now, from here, we have a cartilaginous joint. So from the sternum to the ribs, it's attached by a cartilage. And the first rib will loop underneath like so. Okay, and carry on there and attach uh, to the thoracic vertebra at the back. Rib number two, a little bit further down. It's gonna come this way, loop underneath. And come in, you'll be able to see it under here. That's rib number two. Uh, then you've got rib number three. I'll just draw a little bit of that. Four, five, and six. Now, from this area here on my client, we can feel there's some ribs, the end of the ribs here. Now, that is from an extended piece of cartilage, which is for ribs eight, nine, and ten. So the ribs that attach directly to the sternum are called true ribs. The ribs that attach via this extra long bit of cartilage before they then extend round to the thoracic vertebra at the back are the false ribs. And then the rib number 11 and 12 will be just from the back here. Or to make it easier, can you come over here and just have a look at the skeleton? There's, without skin and muscle in the way, it's a lot easier to see. So you can see rib one underneath the collarbone, two, three, four, five, six. And this extended bit of cartilage I was talking about here goes into the false ribs. We turn the skeleton around at the back, take the arm out of the way. You can see these extra two, rib 11 and rib 12, that don't have an attachment at the front and they're called the floating ribs. Okay, um, that's what I've drawn so far, the sternum and the clavicle. Um, this is going to link to my next video, so what I'm going to do is just carry on and I'm going to draw a greater, well, I'm going to draw the head of the humerus, I've got the greater tubercle here at the top, and uh, rib number two which is there, and rib number one which is there, which is important when we come on to the neck muscles. Okay, so a few bony landmarks there of the chest or the anterior thorax. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.